Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to use the ping function on Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. So this can be valuable because you can put this Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi on your network and then you can have it ping different servers or different IP addresses to see if they are reachable. If they are not reachable, then you can have some kind of alert functionality where maybe you turn on a, a red LED light, maybe you print something across an LCD screen, something like that. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to use this Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. We are going to ping servers and then we are going to see what the results are. This can be very valuable. Imagine if you're in a help desk environment or some kind of desktop support environment and you simply need to verify that servers are, are reachable for your users. Again, so think about like Salesforce or think about Google or some other kind of internal proprietary server. A lot of times, you know, somebody unplugs a switch or something stupid happens with a network. The cool thing is, is using the Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi, you can have it constantly pinging all of these different servers and then it can take the results and put that as a value for a variable and then you can test against that value of the variable uh, to do things, again, such as turn on a red LED light, send off a email notification, something along those lines. So with that, let's go over to the workbench and I'll show you what's required for this particular project as far as hardware is concerned. Then I will show you the code and then we'll bring it all together to show you how this works. So the only thing we need for our little project today is simply an Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. So you don't need any breadboards or, uh, or jumper wires or anything like that. We are simply going to use this base board. Uh, we are going to upload the code to it and then we will simply be able to read uh, through the serial monitor what it's seeing. So with that, let's go over and take a look at the code. So here's the code for this particular project and there really isn't very much to it. The first thing that we need to do is we need to include our Wi-Fi 9 library. So we're going to include that there. This gives us the functionality of the Wi-Fi stack on the Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. Then we need to give the information for connecting to our local Wi-Fi network. So we have char SSID. So I have a guest network set up as test. And for me, I have no password. So if you have a password, you would plug this in and you would put your password here. I don't don't have one so this is all that's required for my Wi-Fi network then we need to create a variable for status so this status is going to be used down here for trying to connect to the Wi-Fi network so we just simply need to create basically copy and paste and just plug that in there the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be testing in this particular sketch we are going to be pinging two different servers so one of the servers is we're going to do string so if you're going to be pinging a full-fledged domain name such as www www.google.com, www.elithecomputerguy.com, www.salesforce.com. For that, you're going to call it a string. Do make sure you put that uppercase S string, and then you're going to say the name for the variable. So for me, I just put this as host name. So string host name equals, remember the double quotation marks, so double quotation marks, and then plug in whatever the domain name is here, and then close the double quotation marks, and of course do a semicolon. Then we're gonna go down, and we're also going to be pinging a local IP address. So my particular computer here, um, I'm going to have the Arduino Uno pinging this, and the reason that we're gonna do this this is I'm going to actually show you when I turn off the network connection on this particular computer so you can see what the results are. So for pinging an IP address, you're going to plug in this. So IP address, so IP address, space, and then whatever you want to call the variable for the IP address. So this is simply going to be local server. Now realize there is no equal here. So basically we just local server. So this is, this is the variable name, local server. And then we're going to put in the IP address. So local server, open parentheses, then you put in the IP address. Again, one of the weird quirks with Arduino. <laughs> Can't do something simple. Can't do something simple. It's not periods. For whatever reason, you can't do periods. So it's 172, comma, 16, comma, 42, comma, 5. If you put periods in here, you're going to run into problems. So swap out the, the periods for commas, and this should work for you. Close parentheses, and then, of course, semicolon. Then 
we're going to have uh, create two variables for the results. Um, so these, this is actually going to be what we can test against. So when, when the Arduino pings these two different servers, what result are we going to get back? So the result that we're actually getting back is the millisecond of response time. So when you see the numbers 10 or 300 or whatever else, that's the millisecond of response time. Um, so when you're pinging and you're getting something back, you'll get a number in the positive. So 10, 15, might be 700, might be really high, but it'll be in the positives. If you do not get a ping reply back, that's when you will get negative one. So if you get negative one, then that means you're not getting a reply back. If you're getting something in the positives, it means you are getting a reply back. So uh, we're gonna have an int, basically Google result. So what the result for Google is, and server result, this will be the result for a local server when we ping that. Then we're gonna come down, we're gonna set up the environment as we always do, void setup. The first thing that we're gonna do is serial.begin at 9600. So we're gonna be reading this from the serial monitor. So of course we need the serial monitor to be up and running. Then we're going to do the while loop. This is to connect us uh, to our Wi-Fi network. Again, this is basically copy and paste what we always do. While status is does not equal connected, serial print attempting connect to network named test and then status equals and the wi-fi dot begin function so this function feeds the ssid and the password tries to connect to the wi-fi network once it is able to connect to the wi-fi network it then drops out of the loop from that point on it will then print out on the serial monitor ssid what this the ssid is and then it will print out what the ip address is again this is an important thing when you're doing uh, any kind of work with uh, arduino unos with wi-fi or any kind of arduino uno with some kind of network connection is having it print out what the hell its ip address is can be a valuable thing for trying to do some troubleshooting shooting. So here we go and go into the loop for this particular what we're doing. So we're going to uh, create a value for the variable Google result. So Google result is going to equal Wi-Fi.ping host name. So the host name, if we go up here, is www.google.com. So it's going to Wi-Fi ping www.google.com. Whatever the response time is in milliseconds, and that value will be given to the variable Google result. Then we have server result, Wi-Fi.ping local server. Local server is again the IP address 172.16.42.5. So it will ping that, and then whatever the milliseconds in response time, that will be given the value of server result. Then we're going to come down here and we are simply going to print out to the serial monitor. So google.com colon space, and then the value for Google result. Print line. So print line. So it's going to print this out on one line then it will go to the next line local server colon space and then the value for whatever the server result is there and then it will delay for two seconds and then loop 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 uh on ad infinitum so this is really all there is to the to the sketch the big things uh to remember here is again that string the upper case s for string host name equals double quotation marks so make sure you put the double quotation marks in and whatever the domain name you're going for and then ip address whatever the name for the variable is so we're simply calling this local server there is no equal here you simply go to parentheses and then remember when you're typing in the ip address you have commas so it is commas instead of periods uh, but with that that's really the important thing uh, for this particular uh, sketch so let me connect to the arduino uno with wi-fi upload the code and i'll show you how this works Okay, so I've connected the Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. It is connected to our computer using our low USB ca uh, cable, so that's giving power and connection for the serial monitor. So with that, let us go to Tools, let us go to Serial Monitor, and see what it's printing out. So this is that attempting to connect to network name test. So this is simply the SSID for a wireless network. Uh, so this will take uh, right about 10 seconds for it to go through and process. Okay, so we got SSID test, we got the IP address, and then here, this is what we got. So we got, as we can see, google.com is 
210 millisecond response time and the local server is 290 uh, response time. Then you can see google.com gets better. 10 local server is actually higher, 140. Google is 10, local server is higher, 140. And so that's one of the interesting things you can see, again, when you're looking at things like response times, is actually seeing that for whatever reason, the local server is significantly uh, slower for response time than Google's server. So now I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when I disconnect the local server from the network, right? So we can go up here, and again, if we go to Open Network Preferences, what you can see here is 172.16.42.5. So this is the IP address um, of this computer, and that's what we're pinging here. So what I'm going to do is simply turn off Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. And as I turn off Wi-Fi, you can now see that it's taking longer because it's timing out. So we can see that Google.com is still at that 10 milliseconds, but now local server is reading negative one. So local server is negative one. And we'll just do it one more time just to show you. So this will be the result that you'll be getting. You'll be getting a negative one um, if a server is, is not reachable. So then all we're gonna do is we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is turning on. This will take a second or so. Wi-Fi is now on. Again, we just got negative one. And then we got the local server. Ridiculously high time. Uh, but there we go. So now we're back to Google at 10 and the local server at about 140 where it was before. So again, this just goes to show you, you can use this for anything that has an IP address, whether it's google.com or whether it's just, you know, some Mac computer uh, you have on your network and you just want to verify that it is reachable uh, from where you are in the network. And that's really all there is to it. So there you go. That's your Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi being able to pick servers with IP addresses. So whether it's google.com or facebook.com or something up on the internet or whether it is some kind of local, you know, file server, print server, some kind of a local server that you want to you want to make sure that it's up online, you can use an Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. You're able to, to grab that time in milliseconds and then once you turn that into the value for a variable, then you can test against that variable. Again, you know, as long as the number is positive, you can have a great Green LED light on. If the number goes negative, then you turn a red LED light on, something like that. Or you can even uh, trigger this to do something like send out an email. So imagine, you know, if your company uses Salesforce significantly or Google significantly, something like that, and then just simply having the Arduino Uno uh, with Wi-Fi, it detects that Google or Salesforce is not reachable, and then it sends you an email notification saying, "Hey, you probably want to take a look at this because people are about to start." Complaining. So it's simple tools like this, right? You can use a simple, just that simple, you know, old ping utility. You use ping, you, you use Arduino Uno with that, uh, with Wi-Fi, you add some LEDs, you add some bells and whistles, and all of a sudden you can get a valuable tool that can just make sure that your systems are working how they're supposed to work. So there, that's all there is uh, to this particular project, showing you how to use the, the Wi-Fi dot ping function with the Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi. As always, I enjoy doing this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one.